Hey, welcome back. Yeah, right now I'm in the process of um, re-uploading a few things and re-editing a few. Um, this is one of our, uh, I wouldn't say favorite, but uh, <clears throat> accountability, or accountability angel. You know, geez, what a joke. All I gotta do is look at her, man. It's, it's such a miserable person, but um, we're gonna get into this video. Um, it's nothing really that special, but like I said, I'm just trying to re-upload a lot of my videos from one channel to another, so bear with me. We're in Metamora, Illinois, outside of the police department, slash the... Come in. Sure. Great. What can I do for you? Um, I just wanted to check out the building, and I need two FOIA request forms. That, you'll have to go to the front floor. Okay, and uh, do I you... I won't have... be able to give you a tour of the police department, though. I was going to give myself a self-guided tour no, of the public be. area. Why? Uh, well, I also need an... All right, so I guess she feels that she could just give herself a tour whenever she feels good and ready. He is the one that handles all the FOIA requests, yes. Okay, he, so he's like the designated FOIA officer? Yes, everything now, goes through the chief. Okay, um, and then... Um, as far as a... The, uh, complaint form looks like we just have a standard form here uh, where you list all your information and then has a page there for the complaint okay and how do I go about uh, turning who do I turn it, it into just anybody into she's doing the typical uh, wasting everybody's time ask a bunch of stupid questions each which is what you asked for I actually asked for two FOIA forms, I believe. At least you I meant to. You copies of those. But you couldn't? To be courteous? If you, you know, want courteous. Copies. You're not cooperating with me. You You're are intimidating me, me when I'm clearly here because of How officer misconduct, even... right? Or for what, what you would believe for. based on me getting you this form would be, right? That you wanted copies of the forms. Yeah. And when I'm trying to ask you, you about what you I need to do. let me know who I'm talking to. I don't have to. You know, it just dawned on me that I'm thinking that a Michigan constipated crusader and Jody Cat Media, the fake nurse, I think they're, I think this is one of their offspring that they just don't know about. I really, I'm, I'm really starting to think that. Clearly, if I'm turning in police misconduct, no, no, because what I told you was it's an intimidating thing, is it not? And when you're behaving this way, and when you're stepping closer to me and raising your voice and being aggressive, I'm not raising and then my voice, why I'm do you need a second aggressive. officer here? Isn't that wasting our tax dollars? The only one wasting tax money is her. Ask you your name, blah, blah, blah. And then I told you, but I don't, I am not required to by law unless I've committed a crime. I'm about to commit a crime. You suspect me, whatever. All right. Have I committed any crime? That's what I'm saying. That is an intimidation attempt or... Or maybe you were just mistaken and need to realize that and fix it for the next time. Okay, no, because that is wrong, right? I don't have to identify for no reason. You can't just well, go and get some, some cute chick across the street and you want her number, so you're going to go force her to ID? No. Exactly, exactly. No, it's the same thing. I'm here for... Man, that is completely different than what you're talking but about. But I don't have to Here's identify. You came in for a complaint form, mm -hmm. okay, ma'am? You got your complaint form. Yeah. He asked for your name probably so he could give it to the chief saying that, hey, X Y Z came to. in for a complaint form, and I gave her one. But okay? I don't have to So do that. that. I'm just saying, that's probably why. Cause it well, here she goes again crying about everything. And to me, it looks like the cops were uh, being kind of nice, you know. They, they gave her what she wanted, but, you know, it's never good enough for these people. Never good enough. You can take, take it home it's a publicly it funded pen, sir. It's a publicly funded. How do you know I didn't buy all the pins that I have on me right now? I don't know, but the public pays their salary, don't they? I mean, I guess it still comes around in a circle. And actually, if you don't want to give me your pen or your pen, go get one from I, the office. You know I didn't buy the Excuse pens me? with my wife's money. Good. Uh huh. Good. Good for her. Yeah. So let's not let's not keep continuing this up. This You're a mad point. I brought up your wife. You should this be is, making no, her proud right now, sir. These forms. These forms. You should. Are we yeah, done with I these wanna, forms? Can you quit yeah. stepping up to me? I'm asking you. I'm talking Look, to sir, you. Look, sir, if I reached out, I would touch you. Okay. You see, that's what these uh, frauditors, 
slash auditors, First Amendment, constitutionalists, whatever they are. But this is what they do. They try to escalate things, and you can tell the cop is starting to get a little escalated. I don't blame them. I'd get sick of her shit, too. Get away from me. I would leave. You can but give me out. attention. You need to give step me outside pen. of the department, right. then. I'm trying to conduct because business. Because I you to. Business. Well, then go to the business office in the front of the building. For a, can, yes. for a FOIA? Yes. You know why you got the police work, and I hope it's for the yeah. right reasons, and I hope you think about it, that I do not have to give ID. Ma'am, I hope you have a fantastic day. Hey, I hope you do too, and I hope you really honor your oath because you didn't today. All right, we're going to end this video. Um, as you can see, she put down you know, the walk of shame like she actually accomplished something or put the cops in their place. No, they got better stuff to do than worry about you. So and I'm pretty sure they got to get back to work. Who knows? Maybe there's another frauditor down at the post office harassing people and they got to go take care of that so who knows but either way um don't forget to subscribe to our bit shoot channel we really hope you enjoyed the video